Well, so far today, 1.49 inches of rainfall coming up to 11 o'clock, and we're not even done with today. And then we got to add in everything that we're going to be getting throughout the morning hours. There is Isaias. It is making landfall right now. Again, this is Cape Fear, Bald Head Island area. So this is Oak Island, probably making landfall right at Oak Island and continuing just a little bit to the west of Wilmington. Heading north, and you can see all the tremendous amount of rainfall here. These are tornado watches. I do expect tornado watches to be extended farther north into Virginia. So right now, Isaias has winds sustained at 85 miles per hour. It's moving north northeast at 22 miles per hour. That speed will continue to increase and it'll likely be upwards of 28, 30 miles per hour, possibly 32 miles per hour once it gets into Virginia as it accelerates and interacts with a, another system coming across the mid-Atlantic. Looking at uh, what we've got over the next 12 hours or so, It'll be uh, right over Hampton Roads at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And at that point, still will be packing winds of 70 miles per hour. And it's going to be up in Manhattan by about 6 o'clock tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening, and then long gone. So it's moving out of here very, very quickly. And you can see the tropical storm warnings extending from New England all the way down to South Carolina. The pink areas are hurricane warnings. We have the tropical storm warnings here. Sustained winds 35 to 45 miles per hour, gust up to 60. And then your rainfall three to six inches locally higher amounts. The flood watch continues for all areas and there's your tornado watch until six o'clock in the morning. And again, I do show this just to let you know that tornadoes do not know that there is a state line here. So it's just been drawn in this area for now, but this will be extended farther north. All right, there's uh, all the rainfall again, the northern sides here of Isaias and the rain's already overspreading much of Virginia. Heaviest rains in the northern neck, but Again, all the way down to the state line, we've got some measure of rainfall. Lottsburg, heavy rainfall, some patches of some moderate rain, Kilmarnock down to Gloucester, just light rainfall in the Richmond area and light to moderate all the way down into North Carolina. So here's what you can expect. Central Virginia area tomorrow, 35 to 45 mile per hour, sustained winds, winds gust to 60, three to five inches likely for the Richmond area and locally higher amounts. And then tornadoes, the threat's gonna be along 95 and points over to the east. All right, let's talk about more on your forecast. Meteorologist Mike Stone, Mike. Thanks, Zach. Well, we made it up to a high temperature of 90 degrees today, but outside right now, we're looking at a current temperature of 73 degrees. The winds are not that strong just yet. They're out of the northeast at five miles an hour, but it continues to be rather muggy. Across the area now, we're looking at temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And as we go across the next few hours, we'll continue to see those showers around coming up from parts of North Carolina, but as we get towards a little bit closer towards daybreak, look at all the heavy rain coming up from the south, especially along and east of the I-95 corridor. Periods of heavy rain from daybreak through mid to late morning. And once we get past about 10 a.m. tomorrow, a lot of the heavy rain is going to shift north of I-64. And by noontime, we're just talking about a few scattered showers, and we may get a couple of scattered showers and thunderstorms during the afternoon with breaks in the clouds for a little bit of sunshine. So the main rain is going to be here in the morning. We'll still have the threat of a shower or thunderstorm through tomorrow evening. But as Zach was mentioning, we have that threat of tornadoes. We have the highest risk, a slight risk as you get closer towards the coast there. The winds coming in off the water, not encountering any friction. They hit the land and we get those spin up tornadoes. So the best chance of that is going to be as you get closer towards the Chesapeake Bay. For tomorrow, 100% chance of rain in the morning. That rain chance will begin to diminish as the afternoon wears on. But take a look at that. Our first day below 90 degrees since July the 9th. We do go back up to 90 degrees briefly on Thursday and we'll spend the rest of the week between about 85 and 90. There'll be a chance of a few widely scattered thunderstorms just about each day. It will stay humid though. Overnight lows will be in the lower 70s. Candace. Thanks, Mike. And we have a reminder. The storm is expected to bring rain and heavy winds to our area in the morning. So our morning team is going to be on a little earlier to keep you informed. You can join them.